Subtle or bold? It's the age old question when it comes to selecting the right glasses. So in this video, we're going to be comparing minimalistic frames against maximalist frames. And myself and Adam are going to be pitting them against each other and we'll see who comes out victorious. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. Joined by Adam, who is also a Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's our job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. We've selected frames from Robert LaRoche's 2022 eyewear collection. Robert LaRoche are a super cool, almost new brand, but they're a historic brand from the 70s that's really been revitalized over the last few years. And it's one of the few eyewear brands that really masters the art of both thin, simple metal frames and chunky, bold acetate frames. So over to Adam, tell me why a bold pair of glasses is the way to go. So for me, bold eyewear is fundamental. Most of my eyewear is going to be bold. Sometimes I like something maybe more towards minimalistic, but it's still got an edge to it. I've chose these for different reasons in mine, really. So to go into kind of the first one that I've chosen, this is actually probably a little bit more on the safe side for myself. Because of the crystal colourway, the way it's, that it's kind of semi-transparent. Exactly. And I think compared to kind of the other choices, maybe the actual acetate itself, it's a little bit thinner. But, you know, something like this is a great way and a great step into being a little bit more bold. It's a kind of safer option. And my challenge to that frame is this one at the other end of the spectrum, far from the chunky, thick acetate material that's used in Adam's pet. This goes with a super thin, almost weightless titanium construction. Real big juxtaposition between these two. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting, I think, is that they are both fairly subtle. Like, even though yours is so much chunkier, yeah. because it's crystal, it stops it being too much. It stops it being over the top for some people. And it's really interesting, isn't it, how these two kind of give the same outcome, but approaching it from two totally different perspectives. Now, I love the understated nature of titanium. I think as a material, it's super lightweight, thin, comfortable to wear, and it stands out as being kind of cool, but not too conspicuous. I think like for me, it's acetate and chunky acetate. When I'm wearing it, I can just feel it on. And I love that, you know, I think titanium is amazing and I do have titanium frames, but I like to be able to fill my frame. What's your... Next choice, you can My next. next choice. So yeah, I went for something a little bit more fashionable, a little bit more high fashion, which is the aviator shape. And I love with this frame, the fact that we've got a combination of both matte finishing along the top and glossy metal work as well. And the two kind of contrast well against each other. But in this pilot or aviator shape, it's got a bit more style to it, I think. This is taking minimalism, but using it in a fashionable way. And I think this frame is really cool, actually, especially in the silver. So what I've gone for this time, something a little bit more bold. Super bold. Yeah. It's Super cool, bit, actually. A little bit more bold. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, you know, this is bold in a different way compared to those. I think because you've got that very kind of straight bit on top and then you've got slightly darker colour and once again that chunky acetate, maybe with you know, a photochromic lens and you've got that versatility to kind of make it into an optical and a sun. Like, this is a staple for me. That's a good point. But on the other hand, this could work with photochromic. But I think this could work way better with a tint as well. And you know I'm all about the tints. I like using the frames as a canvas to showcase what we can do with lenses. And I think by adding a tint to a frame like this, you can really elevate it quite a lot yeah, and it can make definitely. it almost as dramatic as that. Mm. I do think that frame you're wearing is super cool, but it would be a lot harder to pair a tint with that frame because it's so dominant already, don't you think? You have a valid point, but I would say actually you could probably go down quite a few different routes, you know. I think sometimes I've seen things like a blue tint with this and you'd normally think, oh my god, that would probably not go, but yeah. I think sometimes like doing something completely different and having that kind of colour crash is like so much better than kind of sticking in with it being safe. Maybe I'm too safe then. But <laughs> I just think that a thinner metal frame showcases a tint better, in my opinion. But that is a cool frame. I love the shape of it. I love the mm. angular nature of it. Um, it reminds me a lot of a Bottega Minetta frame that I featured in a video a couple of weeks back. Yeah. 
That's very cool though, in a more boxy way. We've seen similar styles from Gucci as well. I'd say that's more on trend at the moment. Yeah, for sure. definitely. Um, but I love my classic aviators. The next choice I went for was, a, for me, once again, probably like a little bit more towards minimalistic, but with the kind of combination frame. Yeah, see, this is minimalistic for Adam. This is, yeah. You know. <laughs> this is me just like taking out the bins. And this is bold for me. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, this combination frame kind of, you know, brings a little bit of the element to what Robert was saying about the kind of titanium and the minimalistic, having that acetate and the kind of color contrast once again between gold and black, you know, gives it that boldness. I know for some people, this is going to be completely and utterly too bold. And then for some people who are more bold, maybe it is subtle. I'd say that's quite wearable for most people. I think mm. for most people who want a bolder look, that probably treads the line. Yeah. Like, that might be too bold for most people, to be fair. Yeah. And Crystal, not everybody likes that colour as much as we love it. Um, but that would make quite a good statement pair for the majority of people. And that's what combination frames do. They give you the, almost the best of both worlds. They're combining a minimalistic element with a more chunky, bolder element. Particularly in your case, obviously, because yeah. I mean, even the metalwork is really thick on that frame. But in my case, we've got a semi-rimless frame. Well, it's not rimless, but the acetate is added just to the top of the frame, just to the top half and the temples. And that contrasts really nicely against the bottom half. These are both combination frames, fusing acetate and metal together, but done in totally different ways with different colour schemes to give a completely different look. Yeah. And it just shows how those small details really contribute to the overall look of the style. Something we've kind of talked about before, you know, in our last video and you've talked about in other videos as well is, you know, not every frame is going to suit someone. So actually, I think like if you try that on, let's have a look. I don't think that's going to particularly suit you. <laughs> Where, you know, if I go a little bit more subtle, actually, actually, I do like that. <laughs> you know? See, I like, I like bold though, but actually your personal taste, you probably wouldn't feel comfortable in it. It's not comfortable. I feel like I could wear this, but... It's all about personality because yeah. I just feel my personality is more towards this side of things, more yeah. minimalistic, more subtle fashion that's still, I, I think stylish anyway. Yeah. That's what I'm going for. I don't yeah. know whether I achieve it. Whereas this is obviously super out there and that just reflects your personality more. Of course. And I think that's one of the fundamental things that anyone should think about when they're choosing glasses is, does this frame match my personality? The reality is that this is going to match somebody's personality and mm. so is that and they're going to be totally different people. But tortoiseshell also keeps it a bit more classic, whereas I think the gold and black combination makes it very modern. I think this is a good point to talk about the actual quality of Robert LaRoche, by the way, because these combination frames are very hard to do. You see very mm. few brands in the world doing this because mastering metalwork and mastering acetate manufacturing, they're totally different skill sets, completely different equipment that's used to make each one. These frames combine both elements and you've got to give credit to Robert LaRoche for really pushing the boundaries in that sense. Yeah. I mean they're not the first combination frames we've seen but they probably are the best or some of the best I've seen anyway. Yeah Would definitely. You agree? I think you can just for me you can just feel the quality like the sturdiness the hinges even down to the nose pads like the quality on this is just out of this world. Any of the pieces that are featuring metal work, whether that's the ones we showed earlier or these combination frames are completely made in Japan by hand. That's the world's best region for eyewear manufacturing and it would take the Japanese to get something as impressive as this. Just the way that the metal and acetate work together and combine together, you know, the little grooves that they have to cut through the acetate to fit the metal into, those little touches I really appreciate and I think it shows a real mastery of their craft. Meanwhile, the acetate frames are made in Italy, by the way, which is no criticism. Italy is probably close to Japan in terms of acetate manufacturing. Mm. The polishing on these frames, the faceting on them is really impressive as well, isn't it? You can't, re I, I don't think they're quite as good as a Japanese made frame, but they're not far off, to be I'm fair. No, I completely agree. Probably, would you agree the best Italian made acetate frames you've seen? I think that would be the case for myself. Yeah, I think, you know, there's so many independent eyewear brands out there and, you know, even more kind of leading brands that do really amazing quality. But, you know, there's, there's something that you can just feel with these that feels different to a lot, a lot of brands that I kind of 
used and worked with previously? Definitely. For me, it's the faceting that they use around the lens rim. Yeah. That little contour that kind of seats the lens kind of deep into the frame, it gives it more three-dimensionality. And you can only achieve that with hand finishing and really close attention to detail when you're working with acetate. Anyway, to finish off the video, let's talk sunglasses. So I decided to go for a little bit bolder in the color this time. So once again, got the bold frame, bold color, and actually this has got a nice green lens in it. For me, that adds even more element to it. Almost as I'm wearing this, I feel like I can see the frame. It feels like it's, it's lit up in lights. Yeah. It's, you know, it's got that real boldness to it, which, you know, as I said, fighting my corner for boldness, <laughs> this is like my last contender. That's the beauty of the honey colorway that Robert Ross have produced, which they do in optical models as well. Mm. But I just think it's so much more wearable with a sun lens. It's very difficult color to wear with clear optical lenses. But I will take your green bottle green tint <laughs> and I will raise it because this is a beautiful blue gradient tint and I just find it so chill and so relaxing. And I love how it, in your case, yours contrasts against the frame. Yeah. In my case, it blends with the top rim of the frame with that beautiful blue acetate at the top and contrasts at the same time with the gold. This is obviously a fairly typical Clubmaster kind of shape, but done in a really nice way with the gold metalwork contrasting against the blue. I think definitely in that colorway, the kind of blue with gold, like mm. that just works so well. And I've not really like seen this. a lot of brands do it. They do blues and things like that, or they do gold. But once again, they don't do this kind of combination together. No, and with the matte, gold as well. I think that really finishes it off. But just to finish on the point that we started with, with the minimalism versus maximalism, it's ironic, I think, that even though that's a chunkier, bolder frame because of the colorway, it's actually softer, more subtle, and almost more classic than the metal pair in this instance, which is, you know, out of the four that we've looked at, it's the only time that's been the case. Yeah. So it's not just about the thickness of the frame. There are other elements to it as well. And that contrast between the blue and the gold makes this one stand out, I think, more than those. Not saying they're better, although they are. <laughs> it's just different. And this one I love because it's minimalistic, but super cool at the same time and makes a statement, which sunglasses you can definitely get away with. I think so. I think like what you're wearing is, do I dare admit I would wear that? I would. It's, you know, it's a little bit more kind of minimalistic, a little bit more subtle, but as we, Robert was saying, the colorway is so fantastic on it and that's what really appeals to me. So actually I would kind of cancel out my rule in this one instance for something like this, because yes, it's subtle. Yes, it's minimalistic, but there's just something about it that just really takes it out from the crowd for me that there's a lot of character to it, isn't yeah. there? And that's a really nice note to end on, I think. We've seen how a minimalistic frame can cross over and transcend its category into being a really bold frame and vice versa. But what do you think? And who was right? Have I made the case for minimalistic frames? Or has Adam made a better argument for chunky, bold, maximalist frames? I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. Leave them in the comment section below. And if you have enjoyed this video, give us a like. And make sure to subscribe because that will mean you'll get more of the best eyewear content on YouTube. I'm pretty confident about that. Yeah. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.